everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'm going to cover a very easy way to start and then transplant your seedlings. So let's get started. Well, somebody sent me a really cool gadget to sow seeds, which is perfect for this video. This product comes with a seed sowing stick and 72 cell growing tray with a base tray and a dome. This product is called Soul Perfect Seeder and it is sent to me by Kirk. He actually wrote me a letter. He goes, Jag, I really hope you like this product and I hope you can include this product in your video. Well, sure I will. I love to support fellow creators, inventors, and entrepreneurs. I'm using some okra seeds to use with Soul Perfect Seeder. I added seeds to the tray and moved the seeds around so that they deposit in the holes of the seed stick. I then simply transferred the seeds onto the cells of the tray. I then covered the seeds with some soil. After covering the seeds, I watered the seeds. I'm also starting a variety of heirloom tomatoes, including black cream tomato, rainbow blend tomato, and yellow pear tomato. In addition, I'm also starting a variety of chilies as well. I'm using plastic cups that you get when you buy yogurt or sour cream, and styrofoam cups when you buy coffee. I place the seeds in the plastic cups and styrofoam cups. I top the cups with some soil and then water the newly planted seeds. I place the cups in a plastic tote to create humidity and lock in moisture for plants to grow. There is enough space in the tote for the plants to grow big and tall. I then covered the tote. Seedlings grow very well in these cups. This is environmentally friendly because I reuse the same cups over and over year after year. Otherwise, these cups would go to landfill. Once the seeds grow, you can easily transplant the seeds from the plastic cups and styrofoam cups. It is very easy to take the seedlings out of the plastic cups and styrofoam cups and then transplant the seedlings. Seeds grow well in 72 cell tray. However, cells are very small, so it is best to transplant seedlings when the seedlings are a couple of inches tall. It is easy to just pull the seedlings out of the cell and then transplant in garden. I'm also using a plastic spinach container to grow seeds as well. I added growing medium to the plastic container, placed the seeds, watered the seeds, and then covered the container. A really good thing about growing seeds in a plastic container is that you can easily stack these containers. These plastic containers are really good at locking in moisture to create humidity for seeds to grow. The moisture level is perfect for seedlings, and the seedlings love it. I made an entire video on how you can use these spinach containers to grow seedlings. Check the video out if you're interested, I'll leave a link to the video in the description. Once the seedlings develop, you can easily use a bulb planter to transplant the seedlings from these plastic containers to your garden. Simply dig a hole in your garden, scoop up the seedlings with a bulb planter, and then drop the seedlings from the bulb planter directly in your garden and cover with soil. You can also use a soil blocker. It is a tool that makes soil blocks. However, I find it very labor intensive to first make all the soil blocks and then plant seeds in each one of those blocks and then transplant each one of the blocks in your garden. You can actually fill the entire container with soil, plant your seeds in them, and then use a bulb planter to pick up your seedlings and then transplant in your garden. I also use a rain gutter to start and transplant my seedlings. I first fill the rain gutter with growing medium and then planted green bean seeds in the rain gutter. The rain gutter is 4 inches deep and provides a lot of space for seedlings to develop roots. The seedlings grow really well in the rain gutter. After 10 days, the green bean seedlings are tall enough to transplant. To transplant all of the seedlings, I first dig a trench in my raised bed. Then I easily tilt the rain gutter in the trench and slide all the contents of the rain gutter, including all the seedlings, all at once in my raised bed. This is a very quick way to transplant a bunch of seedlings all at once. You can use this technique to transplant the plants that you can plant closer to each other, such as peas and beans. And you can even use this to transplant the plants that don't even like transplanting, such as cilantro. The possibilities are endless. I also made a separate video in detail on how to grow seedlings in rain gutter and then transplant these seedlings. Check the video out if you're interested. I'll leave a link in the description. You can also grow seedlings in toilet paper rolls and eggshells. Cut the toilet paper rolls in half and paper towel rolls in quarters to make the growing pods. Fill the cut rolls with seed starting soil or growing medium of your choice. Toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls make great pods to grow seeds. You can plant the seedlings along with the rolls in your garden and the rolls will decompose naturally in your garden. 
To grow seeds in eggshells, simply add the growing medium to the eggshells and then place the eggshells in the cardboard egg carton and the egg carton will hold the rolls very nicely, which is what it's designed to do. Seeds will grow in eggshells just fine. However, eggshells are very small for seedlings to develop any more than two inches. So plant quickly in your garden after seedlings develop. One good thing about growing in eggshells is that you can break the eggshells with your hands when planting and plant the whole eggshells in your garden. The eggshells will decompose and provide calcium to your plants. Well, this is how easy it is to start and then transplant your seedlings. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you use some of these techniques and I'll see you in another video.